Versailles Treaty forbade Germany having any aerial armament. But there was a certain degree of relaxation in the 1920s and 30s, and the gliding took, um, took wing, literally, and became extremely popular. And of course, was uh, one of the ways of training budding pilots for later flights of themselves here from right to left down runway 03 heading comes the Piper Cub and Dagling glider combination not seen ever in the world before on an air display so we really are pri privileged just looking out to the east at this helicopter rather suspiciously actually entering our no jammed air space it's very close to it anyway back to the Cub and glider combination so the chap at the controls of the Dagnick glider is normally an Airbus A380 pilot. Somewhat of a contrast. Give him away! Hello! That is truly remarkable. Well, ladies and gentlemen, either the string is broken or uh, the chap in the back has got fed up with the prop wash from the cup. <laughs> no one here at Shuttleworth uh, can so I'm sure he'll hear that round of applause. He really does deserve it. see the glint of light on his goggles as he turns to acknowledge the applause. And I think he's going to attempt a landing off this one, yes, on 3-0.